going insane Cause every single day I wake up on the frame I bruise and I bleed and try it over again Don't matter where I've been, I'm winning in the end Alright, so I came back home and one of my friends is here with me. We're going to chill in the pool. And so we've got the music, we've got the computer, we've got the ESP, we've got the pool. And, and we've got some games, bro. Yeah, fuck. I'm gonna do a little bit of, of a pool montage, like something like that. And right after that, I'm going to go to the gym. Alright, so we're gonna take one little scoop of ESP each. Let's go, you go first. Alright, my turn. Yeah. Before you do that, you're gonna take the ESP, you're gonna put it in your mouth, and you're not gonna do any face expression, alright? So, <laughs> I can't do it, bro. Yeah, uh, take the water, alright? Put a little, a little bit of water in your mouth. Do it. Alright, so, <laughs> take a little bit of water, put it in your mouth, like a little bit, a small amount of water, right? So, you need to put it water in your mouth. Oh, oh. A little bit of water, just, and, and then just put the scoop in your mouth, <laughs> and, then, and then take a larger sip of water. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, wait, 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 come on, wait. come on, do it. Do I it. do it for YouTube, do guys. It, do it. Come on. A larger sip of water. Yeah. <laughs> cool, oh, fuck. Should I take a larger scoop? The, the no, large one? Scoop. I've never took the large one. Never. No, no, never no. took it. No. Never in my life. Don't take it. Don't take it. Alright. I will. I'm you're gonna probably, take. You're I'm gonna make. Right. I'm gonna take two little scoops. Only two. Hey, Only two today. Yo, dude, just like the. Get okay, alright, let's do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she just got real, bro. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> she almost died. So let's start the quick pull montage. But I press for one talking bands. I got it. Benjamin's in my pocket. I prayed in my truth for some robbers. And he's playing Batman. But he's gonna rob him. I got the Glock in my robbery 17 shots, no 38 Yeah, I got the Glock in my robbery 17 shots, no 38 Yeah, she's fine Wondering will she be mine Walk past, I press rewind See that ass one more time And I got this soda Remy boys that know it Fast money What is going on guys so today i'm gonna do something a little bit different that i've never done before which is going to be a quick voiceover over my workout so today i hit chest and biceps i started off with incline dumbbell chest press and i did it for four sets one warm-up set and four walking sets i didn't film the warm-up sets so i started to film the first set which was 12 reps so i did 12 reps with 30 kilos and then i did 10 reps with 32.5 kilos um which is i think it's 70 pounds so i did it for 10 reps and as you can see I, right after i finished my set i flexed my chest i highly recommend to flex your chest after your working set because flexing the muscles squeezing your chest really helps fire those extra fibers to be able to get that growth it makes a huge difference i guarantee you'll end up being much more sore and you will get much more out of your workout by being able to flex between sets so i highly recommend you guys to flex between sets it doesn't matter which muscle you flex between sets but in this workout i i hit chest so i will flex chest between my sets so in the final set i did eight reps with 35 kilos which is i think 80 pounds for eight reps so as you can see i dropped the weight and i took a lighter weight so i did a drop set for failure so i basically did it until i can't lift the weight anymore i think i did it for 10 reps All right so the next exercise i did was incline dumbbell chest flies i did a drop set for six reps so i started up with 20 kilos for six reps then i dropped the weight for 15 kilos did another six reps and then i dropped the weight one more time for 10 kilos and then i did again six, six reps so in total i did 18 reps so i did that for three sets so yeah 
Alright, so the next exercise I did was machine chest press. I think that's the name of the, the exercise, the machine chest press. So what I did in here, I did four sets of 12, 10, 8, 8 reps. And on the left set, I did the drop set. So you can switch that exercise with a normal bench press, but I always like to, to switch them up. In the last workout I did, I did it with a normal bench press, but in this workout, I switched it up for that bench press machine. So yeah. All right, so right after that exercise, I move on to the single arm bench press, I think it's called. I don't really know the name of it, but I really like this exercise because it's giving more emphasis on your inside chest. I think, yeah, I, I don't really know the name of this, the area of the chest, but it's giving more emphasis. And as you can see, my chest is lagging on there. So I'm adding this exercise to every chest workout I do. So basically what I do in here, I do 12 reps for three sets on each arm so I try to squeeze at the top you don't need to lift heavy on this exercise you just need to get that my muscle connection to control the muscle so you just need to to squeeze at the end and go on a very slow negative I didn't do it really right on that exercise because it was 11 p.m. and I was really tired so I didn't really do it right but what you basically need to do is to so what you basically need to do is you need to focus on your inner chest you need to control the, the movement you need to go fast up and when you get to the top you need to hold it up for uh, at least two seconds and then go on a slow negative for at least three seconds and then go again fast for one second then hold it up for two seconds and then go on a slow negative for three seconds all right so let's move on to the next exercise which is one of my favorite chest exercises, which is cable crossover so what i recommend you guys to do when you do this exercise is to take your shoulders your shoulder blades to the back and squeeze your chest when you're going forward with your hands when you go forward trying to think about your chest and think about contracting all your muscle fibers that will help you get that my muscle connection which is very important if you want to build a big chest so basically what you do you just do this hug movement and bring your arms to the middle of the chest and that's it my tip to this exercise is to just think about flexing those muscle fibers which is really important like I highly recommend you guys to try it on your next exercise so yeah so that was my chest workout it was a really bad workout because i wasn't in the workout i was thinking all the time about the camera about the angles and about the video that i'm going to do about the editing and i was really tired i was awake for a long time and it was really late and it's all excuses yeah i know but still i was really tired and it wasn't one of my best workout it actually was one of my worst so i look flat and yeah so let's move on to biceps so the first exercise that i did for biceps was biceps curl so this is one of my favorite if if not my favorite exercise for biceps and what you do in this exercise you just take your shoulder blades to the back and pick the right weight for you which is really important because when you go to the gym, you probably saw in your life that there is a lot of people lifting weights in the gym that are too heavy for them. So let's say you see a guy do a bicep curl with like 30 kilo, which is like 70 pounds, I think. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Um, do a bicep curl, and you can see all of his body is moving with him when he do the bicep curl, or he's doing just a half of of a movement, which is not true. He's not going to see a lot of gain. So. What you need to do is to pick the right weight for you. Don't think with your ego, think smart. Um, so pick the right weight for you that you can complete the movement without any other movement of the body, just the biceps movement. Um, so you pick the right weight for you and what you do is you straight up your hand and when you lift the weight, you're going to turn your wrist to the side when your pinky is higher than the other fingers so you do that and it's going to help you get a better biceps pick try to do progressive overload on this exercise if you want to build a bigger biceps and here is my friend doing overhead dumbbell triceps extension we didn't train together this day so i did in this exercise four sets of 12 10 8, 8 reps and on the last set i did a drop set till failure early like this workout giving me a, a really good pump 
and as you can see in here i do the most muscular pose and when you do the most muscular pose you flex your muscle fibers in your chest and in your biceps and some of them in, in the shoulders and the traps but i try to focus on flexing more of the biceps and you can do a side chest or just just try to flex your biceps i do this for at least 10 seconds and yeah so let's move on to the next exercise um, I don't really know the name of this exercise, maybe bicep scrolls with cables, cable bicep scroll. I don't really know the name of it, but you probably know the name of it. Um, so I do this exercise for 4 sets, for 8 to 12 reps. And on the last set, you already know, I do a drop set until failure. There is nothing special about this exercise. I just pull it up for 2 seconds and contract it for 3 seconds. So 1, 2 up and 3, 2, 1 down. So yeah, let's move on to the next exercise. I actually skipped one of my exercises because I was really tired and I didn't have the power. I just felt like I'm training and burning muscle. Um, so I just move on to the last exercise. I was supposed to do seated biceps one arm dumbbell curl for three sets to eight to 10 reps, but I didn't do it. So yeah. So I move on to the last exercise, which is reverse grip biceps curl. Um, I did this for three sets for 20 reps so you pick a light weight you don't need heavy weight for this exercise it's a really good exercise to finish off your workout because it's giving you a really good pump so you do this for 20 reps nothing special about this workout um so yeah after that i did 30 minutes of cardio i didn't film it because it's boring nobody cares about cardio and yeah that's my back and biceps workout if you like this kind of voiceover slash commentary um, hit that like button and let me know because this is the first time I do this and I don't know what you guys think about it but if you find it helpful I'm happy that you did and yeah this is basically it thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace